a group of celebrities gather together in order to encourage people during the coronavirus pandemic. Unfortunately, the song that they sang is pretty hopeless, uh, but we're going to explore that today. Hey, what's up guys? My name is Isaac and this is The Daily Disciple where I help you follow Jesus daily. Like I just teased, we're going to be watching a clip, uh, multiple clips of celebrities singing parts of the uh, song Imagine by John Lennon. Um, but before we do that, I just want to give a huge shout out to my patrons on Patreon. Um, as you guys know, or some of you know, recently I was let go of my job because of the coronavirus, so things are tight right now. Um, but thankfully, I have patrons on Patreon that support me in this ministry, so if you want to help me out head on over to patreon.com slash daily underscore disciple and uh, partner with me on there thank you again for those of you who already do that it is a huge blessing onto the video okay without further ado let me just set up this video real quick so gal gadot uh super woman uh she wanted to you know do something that uh, i believe like she thought that she you know it was it was nice and and hey, let's get together and let, let me sing a part of the song imagine and then a bunch of other celebrities will send in their tapes and sing this song as well well unfortunately what turned out what well, began as maybe a nice idea ended out people really being kind of offended by it so people got upset about it um, a lot of people memed on it um, for me I wasn't personally offended but I just thought it was more interesting in terms of the song that they were singing the song choice that they chose um, but we'll we'll explore that as we listen to the song imagine there's no heaven it's easy if you try no hell below us Above us on the sky. Okay, just to start out, I mean, I'm not going to necessarily comment on their singing performance because I'm not a good singer. I'm not good at that stuff. Would I like to be? Of course, I'm trying to be taking, I was going to be taking singing lessons, but this whole coronavirus thing kind of got in the way of that. So I'm no expert in terms of musical performance at all. So <laughs> if I if I talk about their, their singing or whatever, know that I am no better. I'm just laughing because I know this is what I would do. It, I'm I'm in the same boat in terms of singing quality. <laughs> it is interesting though, because it, you know it, it's impossible pretty much to make it sound good. Um, but you know, aside from that, the actual lyrics that they're singing, you know, they're trying to encourage people, give people hope in a time of of just uncertainty and stress and anxiety. And all of a sudden, they start singing this song, and I've heard it, and you've probably heard it before. If you haven't heard it, that's pretty crazy. <laughs> but if uh, but the song is all about look. Imagine there's no heaven, it's easy if you try, no hell below us, only uh, above us only sky, right? This fact that, hey, look, no, imagine if we're just here, there's nothing in the afterlife, right? There's no heaven or hell. Also this idea that, okay, hell and heaven are, you know, God's going to judge us at the end of, end of time when he comes back, right? God's going to judge us based on what we've done. Um, the, the song is kind of like, okay, imagine if that didn't happen. Imagine if we could just do what we want. It, wouldn't that be a great thing to me? And, and it's a very different distinction, right? If you're a Christian or if you're not a Christian, that might sound really nice to you. That might sound really good. Like just living, Hey, doing what you want to do. Hey, I, I just, you know, you do you type mentality. Um, but the Bible actually presents something that is amazing and it's freedom. And that confuses a lot of people that aren't Christians. They're like, no, that's, you know, the Bible and all those, you know, stuff you have to do. That sounds like bondage. But actually through Jesus, we have real freedom where we don't need to be a slave to sin. We don't have to be a slave to our, you know, our random desires or honestly sinful desires a lot of the time. But no, we can be um, in service to Christ. And that actually allows us to have great freedom because we're actually living out who we were created to to be and think about this song and you'll you'll hear this as it goes imagine he's actually john lennon is actually saying hey look this this stuff is actually real but wouldn't it be great if it wasn't real that's something to think about imagine all the people living for today yeah. okay <laughs> Okay, <laughs> I'm not even going to comment on that last. Like I said, I'm not good at singing either. So, you know, it was a, maybe it was a comedic take. Well, we'll hope for that <laughs> from Sarah Silverman there. But 
Um, okay, so so imagine if all the people were living for today. There's two sides to this, right? Because yeah, you want to live for today, right? You don't want to just you know worry about the past or worry about the future. You want to take advantage of what you have. But there's also this idea of living for temporal comfort versus living for eternal impact. And this is something that maybe to unbelievers this might not make sense, but the idea is, is that because we were created in the image of God, because we have this amazing purpose of imaging him on this earth and bringing glory to him, everything that we're trying to do on this earth has eternal impact right so if every relationship that we're in every friendship uh, you know sharing the gospel serving other people it's all in this eternal mindset because it's not just about here and now but it is about about eternity right not only you know when you're sharing the gospel you have this idea hey look we're not just here for today um, how you live your life here matters and what you believe here matters and that's why I want to share the gospel with you. You know, when you're serving people, it's not just about here and now, but you're imaging, you're showing what God looks like to other people. So yes, we want to live for today, meaning that we want to take advantage of every day, but we don't want to have this mindset of only, you know, taking advantage of today and, and trying to you know, get temporal comfort, um, trying to, you know, have temporal pleasure, just do what feels good now or do what I think is best now, because that kind of leads us to the selfish mindset. But actually what the Bible is calling us to is this eternal um, mindset where we're making eternal impact impact for God's glory. It isn't hard to do. Jimmy, why is Jimmy in this? Nothing to kill or die for. And no religion too. I find this so interesting. I mean, uh, on different social media platforms, as I as I share my faith and just share my my Christian journey and and just try to share what I'm learning in the scriptures, I'll often encounter people that maybe identify as agnostics or or atheists or whatever. And often a criticism will be, "Look, look how much harm religion has done." to the world look how much harm religion has done so many wars so many battles you know and this is the same idea right imagine if there's no religion right we'd all live in peace but ultimately um all the religions are, are just attempts from, by humans to figure out the meaning of life what happens when you die answer those big questions in life atheists too trying to figure out the big questions of life and do you know other religions get into wars and do all sorts of terrible uh, yeah absolutely just because somebody says that they are a christian or says they're part of you know a christian church and does something terrible or you know claims the name of christ and yet starts wars or kills people or whatever that doesn't discredit the actual message because you need to read it we're all trying to find the big answers in life and the bible actually has those answers if you're willing to take a look so ultimately when you say oh look religions are just you know if we didn't have religions we'd be great no you'd still be looking for answers and so now the real question is is what religion or what thing has those answers? Who has those answers? And we look in the Bible, Jesus says, I'm the way, I'm the truth, I am the life. He's claiming to be God. He's claiming to be the only way to the Father. If this is new to you, I encourage you to go read the book of John in the Bible. Just begin reading it and explore what the Bible has, the answers to the big questions of life. Imagine all the people That's good. That's good. I don't even know who that is. You may say that I'm a dreamer, but that's I'm good. That's not good. the that, that's, only one. She's got a good voice. I you know, I don't know who she is, honestly. I don't know who a lot of these celebrities are, but she has a good voice. And not that I'm a voice coach. I'm going to do like a voice coach reacts. I love those videos. Imagine no possessions. I wonder if you can No need for greed and hunger Brotherhood of man Sharing all the world You The song kind of has the theme of, hey, look, what, what, what if there were no things that divide us? What, what if we just, you know, we're, live together as one in one happy 
family. And honestly, that sounds like a nice idea, you know? It's a warm and fuzzy feelings within us. But when we actually start to think about it, what are the things that actually begin to divide us? They're actually the things that are most core to us, how we answer the biggest questions in life, how we choose to live our lives, how we choose to interact with people. Those are the things that often divide us and when we began to just hey no we just gotta you know accept and and come together and and love each other that's a nice idea and obviously the bible says hey love one another we should have friends of non-believers right we, we should be friends with non-believers but that doesn't mean we come together and we ignore um, the truth right because we can't all we're not all gonna believe the same thing and by just coming together we'd be actually ignoring some of the deepest and most important things in life so I actually propose a different thing I uh, propose a different strategy let's not just come together and just be one and not talk about the things that truly matter that may divide us but let's come together with respect and treating each other with dignity and knowing that we're each created in the image of God, loving one another, right? As we love ourselves, listening to other people's perspectives and opinions, but not being scared of sharing the truth and what we believe. That is what I think is actually a better aspiration than just coming together, singing Kumbaya in a nice circle, but coming together with love and respect, but not uh, not cowering down and not hiding the truth from people. You know, ultimately, I think what they're looking for, even though the song may be, you know, misguided and not completely that, not really that hopeful at all, but ultimately, um, we're looking for peace. We're looking for peace. We're looking for hope. Where can we find peace in our circumstances and we, where we can find hope for the future? And ultimately, that, that peace that comes, it, it comes from not within ourselves if we're just trying to focus on oh man how is my life going how are my circumstances going how how how's my job going what 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 is the you know what am i going to do all this kind of thing we're going to be anxious and we're going to be trying to figure out you know what is life next there's no peace there ultimately peace the bible says comes through christ not in our current circumstances not in our changing circumstances but in our unchanging God because we can trust him. He has things under control. And where can we find hope? Hope ultimately when we're looking towards the future, it's not a hope of, well, I hope there's no heaven or hell so we can do whatever we want now. It's a hope of the future, a hope of Jesus coming back ultimately and establishing um, his kingdom here. It's a hope that he will restore us all to our original design without sin, without um, you know, selfishness, but we can live together um, in sinless perfection. And, and we can do all the things, we can explore creation, there'll be no more death, there'll be no more tears. That is our hope. And the hope for right now, even before Jesus comes back, is that God can use you right now. He can use me right now. And it's not because you're that amazing, it's not because I'm that amazing, but God loves you. And he wants to use you despite your inadequacies. He wants to use you in the midst of your weakness because his power is made full in your weakness. So as you're trying to navigate this kind of crazy time, honestly, um, I just encourage you to dive in God's word. Ask him, draw near to him and he will draw near to you. There is peace, there is hope available, not necessarily in listening to celebrities sing Imagine. <laughs> but in Christ. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, this is all in good, lighthearted fun, but I hope you learned something. I hope you took something from this video. I really appreciate you guys. And uh, support me on Patreon if you can. Head on over to patreon.com slash daily underscore disciple. I really appreciate it. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.